Oh, is it? Hello, everyone, and welcome to the review of the DX Ultraman Rube, Rube Gyro. Now, when I first started to watch the series, I didn't like it as much as I liked the previous series, Ultraman G. And if you're wondering, I didn't watch Ultraman or before that, or X before that, but I am currently working on X and Orb. Anyway, what I'm I kind of didn't like it that much because of the light hard tone, but as I started to watch more of it, I am up to that one. I'm up to episode 17. You know the one? It's Halloween special and all the alien shoulder show up. Got uh, Dada and the pigman. Oh. Yeah, basically. Fuck that episode. I don't really know where I left off. I think. Actually, no, I think. You know what? I am getting off topic. Basically. In the show, Ultraman Root, it's about these two brothers who, who gain the ability to transform into elemental Ultraman form. And they do it using this, the Rube Gyro. Now, this kind of does remind me of the Matrix of Leadership from Transformers. And I am a huge Transformer fan. Well, I was before I became a huge fan of this. But, now, if you wondering what exactly this does, uh, uh, allow me to show you. And it's important to know that I got this in a in a set that came with the the holster for the for the rube crystals as well. Originally, these things were sold sep were sold separately with the, with the crystal holder and the Ultra Mantica crystal sold together, but the rube gyro and the Ginga and Taro crystals were sold. Together. Yeah. But also, I just have to get this. This is the Ultraman Taro Spark Doll, released in the Ultra, 5, 500, Ultra Hero 500 series, and it's about beginning a spark right here. And from the previous series, this is the Ultraman Taro capsule. And they scale up pretty good. <clears throat> and if you're wondering how, like, how tall exactly that is, um, this is a pen. Like, that much compared to a pen. And this is, like, that much compared to a pen. Now, enough dilly down. Now, it's important to note that if you're, with, if you're watching this with headphones, or if you have the volume all the way up, you may want to turn it down. Because the one thing about the Rube Gyro I kind of disliked a bit is the fact that it's very loud. And, and, and sometimes when, I, when I'm showing this off to people, I cover the speaker like this. Yeah. But I am... Now, you've been watching. It's not that loud, though. It, if it doesn't show up too well on camera, that's like a little below stamp. I'm sorry, this camera isn't very... Now... Looks like I got boxed. If you don't know, this is... Black. Here we have Monroso and Command Blue. Come in! Sorry about that. My mom had to check on me. Now, as I was saying, now back to the box. If you don't, this is also also and blue, and they can both you. And basically, what they do is, if it's it, if Rosso is doing it, and it pops out two horns. Not really horns. But it's a deer called crystals. I like to refer to these as shards. And if it's doing blue, it pops out this one. It's the same way for the Ginga and the Tia and the Victory and all the other ones. Moving now, moving on to Now, 
those mm, nah, nah. now those, those viewers who have especially good eyes may have noticed that yeah make that sound too. you may have noticed that I did okay I can't remember if this one or, or, I, this one was popped up this one. you may have noticed that even when I didn't pop any of the crystals out it still said Rosa why is that exactly now now, for it to make sense, I'll have to show you the blue style. Fun detail I like. Whenever, whenever it's blue, it's blue at the bottom. But also, so it's red. At the Now it's that Ultraman Blue Flame. Now, I probably wonder why exactly does that happen. You see, with this crystal, actually with all the crystals that I mean, whenever you pop up, whenever you pop up that center crystal, it knows you're doing blue and it says blue. When that crystal's not popped up, like when it's got no crystals out, or when it's got the rose on or O shards out, it knows to do rose soap, because that center one isn't popped out. When it is, however, that's when it does blue. Which means, if you do it like this, it'll say blue. And I don't like to do it like this, because that just looks a bit ridiculous for me. And I don't really know why. And to be honest, actually, I wish there was, like, sort of a... I wish there was, like... I'm sorry. I wish there was, like, sort of a thing with... There was a way to make it so that... You see, for certain... Uh, certain crystals like the Ultraman G crystal, the Ultra, the Seven crystal, the X crystal, the Leo crystal. For all those crystals, it doesn't it doesn't matter what horn you pop out. It it won't say for any of the Ultraman. And that's the, they don't they don't use those for horns. I wish there was a way for these crystals to make it so that it didn't say a form. Like if you didn't pop any crystals, that wouldn't say a form. But I digress. Moving on to Ultraman to Ultraman Ginga. Mm, Rosa style. Oh, and I, I know it's getting sidetracked again, but earlier when I was talking about Rube, oh, and I said I didn't like it as much as G because of the light hard tone. It's not to say I don't like shows as much like the hard tone, it's just that I really like dude. I think it's super awesome. Now, just like with now, just like with the G Driver, the Orb Ring, and the Build Driver, no, it's, I don't have the Orb Ring, but I have those. Two. If you do the, if you do, if you basically do the transformation thing again, it'll do an attack. I didn't do it for the other ones, but that's just it'll be a lot of attacking, and I don't want this. And I don't want this video to be that long. It should be noted that Rosa, that Rosa's fighting style, you know, it deals a lot with throwing, like, balls of energy. Like, it would probably say, like, like Aqua Sphere or something like that. Actually, I think that's a Pokemon moving. And, and Rosa's style is about shooting strings of energy. And I actually think that one of them does it like this, but one of them does it like this. I, I don't know, and I don't care that much, but I care that it's... It, it's and wow, I get sidetracked a lot while I'm making these.
anyway, this is the review of the DX Rube Gyro. Now, another their reviewer, YouTuber, Collector Shuki, you should check out his channel, it's pretty good. He said that, mm, that he doesn't like the Rube Gyro uh, or the Crystal that much, he's, I think he still likes it, but he, he, but he just wished it was a, a little, it had a bit more function, it had a bit more functionality and that it could do more stuff. And while I agree with that sentiment, for some reason I, for some reason I just kind of don't, I, I mean, I mean, when I first got this and I did all the stuff, I was like, well, that's it. But maybe that's just because with the G drive that came before it, it came, and you could play as the bad guy or the good guy, because you both had monster and, and Ultraman capsules, cause, so you could do what you wanted with them. I feel the, I think the Rube Gyro is a good transformation device, and the crystals, a lot of people say that they're that they're a good and interesting gimmick. I think they and I think they are too. <clears throat> and I do kinda like the Rube Gyro. I mean some people don't like the Rube Gyro, I think it's a bit weird. Like had you legends actually joked about this he did a video about transformation devices and he joked and he jokingly said, This is a workout item, not a transformation item and then cuts them going all like <clears throat> that was funny. It was a good beat. You should check out Dyke Hadju Legends and Collector Ship. If you're, if you're an Ultraman fan like me, you'll like it. If, you, if you're not and you just subscribe to me because you're related to me, it, this is probably sounding like gibberish and you have no idea what this is. Or what this is. Or what this is. But you still know what this is. If you don't know what this is, well, then it's clearly wrong. But moving on, final review, I say this is like a 8 out of 10 or 4 out of 5. It's good, could have been better, but I feel like some, but I feel like some of the other stuff, like the Rube Sluggers, are a bit better than, than stuff like the G, like the, uh, the G Club. I feel like it's better. And if I, and if I get the Rube Slugger or the G Club, I'll be making reviews of those, but. These are pretty good, actually. And to me, I should probably. And just for a quick look at both, at both the crystals that I don't like can you with this. I can't. Basically, I'm I'm doing it facing the actual crystal. Here's the ging. Here's the ging crystal. With this one, you get the element of water, and he's in hat has a Japanese kanji used for water. Basically, if you don't know, that says water. And this is the taro crystal. Ultraman Taro is actually my favorite Ultraman, even though G is probably my favorite series. <clears throat> and I would just like to take a quick moment out of my time in the video to point out that pig right there. Did you see the pig? Of course you did. You were staring at it uh, throughout the entire video. It's probably what you were. And you know what? I tried to make the video shorter in the last video. Take a look at that. It's not. Look. L look at the thing that's. Look at the time thing. Ah. Okay. Moving on. On on the the Rube Gyro. If you like Ultraman Rube or just any transformation devices in general or Ultraman in general, get it. You're gonna like it. Uh. Get it? You're gonna like it. And I will be posting a review, a review of the Jeed Riser soon enough. Not now. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe I will do it tomorrow. But soon. Soon. You hear me? I'm gonna do it. So, to repeat myself, this is pretty good. 8 out of 10. Do you like it? Some parts of it could have been better. And to be honest, I think this is more of an underrated transformation device, if I do say so myself. And, and ending review.